What's going on guys, Cesar here. Welcome to our lovely world of Astrobot. We're going to talk about something that kind of broke the internet in the past few days. Maybe even the past week or so. How did Nikocado Avocado lose weight? This is him now and this is him just 7 months ago. So how is it possible for someone in just 7 months to make this huge, you know, transformation? Like this is his YouTube channel right there. This video was 7 months ago. I don't want to talk about what's happening in the thumbnail. And yeah, click on it. And there he is. That's his size now and he's shouting at us or something. As you can see, many dislikes and by the way, in case you don't know like I'm using an extension to show dislikes but it's not accurate like it doesn't show except maybe 60 or 70 percent of the dislikes so the dislikes are way more than 146 thousand so you can tell people didn't like him very much and didn't like the way he was doing things didn't like his content you know they didn't like what what he's doing doing to himself and now this video seven months later or maybe even less than seven months i think it's seven months and yeah you go to it who the hell is that like seriously even the parrot is surprised like seriously who, who the f is that a completely different person who is literally extremely skinny so how is that even possible how is, how is it possible for someone to lose all that all that amount of weight in such a short period of time i mean you could argue that seven months is a long time but for this for 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 this transformation no, it's, it's it's very short. To say the absolute least about this this video or this situation is gonna be carved into the history of YouTube. But let's just get right into how he got that skinny. You know, just in case someone out there needs to know this information. You know, if someone is the same size as this man, it's it will be great for him to know how to become like this within seven months. So yeah, I've done some research on the situation. Basically, Nikocado Avocado lost 114 kilograms in just seven months now basically I, i'm not gonna lie to you i thought it was way more like the way these two differ from each other i thought it was way more than 114 kilogram but yeah it's it is said that it's just that amount 114 115 i don't think uh, you know the reporter that uh, said that number actually checked the scale while he's standing on it just an estimation but yeah the difference between that and that is 114 kilograms is kind of crazy to me i i, I thought it was i don't know 200 kilograms or something but yeah that's that okay first of all let me say something it's not exactly 114 kilograms it's 250 pounds it doesn't really matter they're both the same exact thing but yeah since we're talking like nikocado is an american so we should talk with pounds right he's angry at me that i use kilograms i'm sorry man. i know about the metric system yeah 250 pounds but here's the real plot twist of the situation it wasn't seven months it was actually way longer than that basically what he was doing in the past two years is that he was strategically posting pre-recorded videos into his uh, TikTok and into his YouTube. To give you an illusion that he's still like that, he's still at his heaviest possible weight. He even shaved his head to be bald a long time ago and that was just the way he looked. And when he goes out in public, he's not Nikocado Avocado, you know? And no one, no one recognizes him, no one knows him. So for two years, he was making these disgusting videos of him eating like crazy, but he's not eating like crazy, you know saying? Th th those were all pre-recorded. I don't, I don't understand how exactly these are pre-recorded. Did he actually prepare all these videos before the two years so that he would prepare for, prepare for this transformation? I mean, we're looking at one of the greatest planned uh, trends in history. He literally spent maybe even more than two and three years or something planning for this specific trend. For two years, he was just showing us pre-recorded videos and he was focusing on the journey of losing weight behind the scenes. He was being a completely different person. He was being bald. He was actually losing weight prog progressively over time. It's, it's crazy. So how did he lose the weight? Well, basically, he did not publicly reveal how he lost the weight. But the thing is, the real mystery about this is how he could possibly lose all that amount of weight in just seven months. That was the real mystery. And that was the real question. And the answer to the question is that he didn't. He didn't lose it in seven months. He made it look like he lost it in seven months but that was not the case something else that's really interesting to me if he spent two years trying to lose weight and he was publicly you know uh, recording pre-recorded videos to make it look like he actually still looks like that until now why did he stop posting these pre-recorded videos seven months ago like did he actually do it on purpose or just all this pre-recorded stuff ended? And why is he kissing the same exact guy three times in a row after each other perfectly aligned in the freaking video? Who the hell is that guy? I don't, I don't know who that guy is. Anyways, my question is if he actually has been doing this for two years, why did he stop posting videos seven months ago? Did he actually do it on purpose to make us think that the diet only took him seven months? Was he trying to do that? My guess is yes. 
he was trying to do that. Now, since he did not publicly state what exactly the method he used to, you know, lose all that weight, so we can't really know. We can just try to guess. Like, my guess is that there were some medical surgeries involved, like gastric bypass or gastric sleeve, you know, or these kind of uh, medical surgeries that they do to the stomachs all the time. Like, there are lots of medical surgeries that mess around with the stomach, you know, reducing the stomach by 80% and bypassing food from it and maybe impacting a little bit of the hunger related hormones these kind of things obviously they're not recommended but some people do them i don't know i don't know if he did those or not like i said since he has not revealed publicly what he did then there is no way for us to know but my guess is that since it's not seven months and instead it was two years or maybe even more then it must not be that much of a miracle that we thought it was i mean I, I, the question that came to people's minds it was only seven months and that is ridiculous changing from that into that in seven months i look we have no idea what's possible in this world and what the science can do yet but this is definitely very very questionable that it can be done now so the answer of it not being seven months and was actually two years it's actually more reasonable two years is a long time it's still impressive it's still impressive to go from that to that in two years but it's more believable to be done through regular diet or maybe even a little bit of strong diet than it is in seven months. In seven months, there was definitely a medical surgery involved. There's no question about it. like seven months, he did medical surgery, but two years, not necessarily. He may have just, he, he may have just followed a certain program with a doctor or something. He was told what to eat and what not to eat. He was too harsh on himself, very harsh on himself. And honestly, I think he's an inspiration. He's an inspiration that you can be anything you want. You can get rid of anything that bothers you in life. I mean, if he can turn from that into that, I guess you can do anything. You know, I, I actually, he personally inspired me somehow, you know, because I... I sort of have a little bit of an OCD problem, so I'm thinking, hey, maybe I can be, if this guy can do that, maybe I can be, I don't think I will be, it, though. I'm, I, I, whatever, my point is, we humans have very strong willpower, like for real, we can pretty much do anything if we just have the mindset for it, that proves it. Anyways, that's all about the Nikocado avocado situation. I start the video with an Astrobot picture, so I'm gonna end it with it. Let me know what you think about what he did, you know? Like, let me know first of all what you think about his social experiment in general. Do you think that what he did was good and justifiable? That he, you know, hid his personality from people so that, uh, you know, so that he would secretly do this diet for two years? Like, was that really a good thing or not? I, mean, I, I believe that it's a good thing. Maybe he did it a little bit for the trend part so that he will be publicly you know um i don't know boosted or something you know on the internet because he knew that this was going to break the internet and he did and it did i don't think there's anything wrong with that to be honest like seriously i mean he he sent a good message so he actually earned it he earned that publicity i mean he does uh, earned it 100 percent. so yeah we can't call him like he did something wrong or did something out of line I, I, as a matter of fact i think that he like like he, he 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 it's a huge inspiration he did to many people so yeah he what he did was an was an amazing thing in, in my honest opinion like what i'm saying right now is what i basically saw some people saying about him on twitter and youtube or whatever some people were mad at him actually for that they were saying that he did this for attention and fame and why would he hide his personality like that why would he pretend that he was something is not you know like, you know any any trend or anything that happens on the internet you always find those people that find some sort of, you know, some sort of an excuse to turn him into a bad person and attack him or whatnot. So yeah, I did see some comments uh, attacking him for that. They were like, why would you do, why would you hide your personality from people? Why would you, they, they, you know, they, they kept saying things like that. And some people accuses him of that, that like he was lying to people and whatnot. But you know, like I said, what he did was a huge inspiration and what he did was not wrong at all. It was actually one of the best things I've ever seen on the internet until now. It's amazing. And it's a huge inspiration for people who are fighting their own battles. You know, like uh, every one of us has his own battle with some sort of a mental illness or something wrong with him in life, something affecting his life. So, yeah, I guess this guy proves that whatever it is with a true mindset, you can't beat it. it just, it's just a matter of willpower, just a matter of strength and taking responsibility and knowing that no one's gonna no one is going to solve your problems but yourself that's also very important like you can't just expect someone else to come and drag you hold your hand and drag you through the problems you have to 
beat them yourself no one's gonna help you i am not saying not to seek help from psychiatrists or whatnot no seek help and get the medical help if you need but the thing is the, the these things will mean nothing if you don't you know uh, if you don't put the, put the full responsibility on yourself you're the one who's fighting this not them they're just they're just getting paid to help you that doesn't mean that their help is gonna do anything you're the one who's doing it. it's like a teacher giving a lesson to a student if the student doesn't study as hard as he can he will fail and it's his fault not the teachers anyways yeah i'm gonna end it here so like i said i'm really happy with what he did i really think that what he did was amazing and a, and a huge inspiration to many people out there and i'm one of them i'm really proud of him and i'm actually like i'll take that lesson into consideration it's it's really amazing and uh yeah that's pretty much all that's what see you guys later bye